And we are live! Hello everybody! Good morning, good afternoon, happy time zones wherever you might be. I'm Emma, reporting in from annoyingly cold England right now. Uh, and there are many other problems with it too, but let's not get into that. But yes, uh, welcome back to the House of Hubris here on TV slash Sarasant. Welcome back to Murder by Numbers, where we are on case four. And we are actually playing the game and not doing bonus puzzles for an hour and a half. That may come later, we shall see. Should we just get back into it? So, uh... There's a film director who the detective got a tip off that she had done something extra shady, so use our Hollywood connections to get an invite onto her party boat full of rich douchebags, and now somebody's dead that was probably the detective's informant. So it's going well. And I probably don't remember what anybody sounded like. Should we get into this? But hey, what else is new about that last part? Ah yes, we were still poking around the boat for Evidente. We found champagne. Good start. That's what I need on a Tuesday morning. Anybody who reminds me this isn't technically morning here gets timed out. Yes, yeah, sorry for the slightly delayed start time. Uh, life, you know. The very epitome of it do be like that sometimes. Standard disclaimer, I will not be vocalizing all of the process of doing these because that would take so much time. <laughs> uh, one, three, three, five, that's what, twelve. Oh, that is just fifteen. Exactly, life. I say life, you know, because I know that many of you do indeed know. Also, Morning Abbey. This is some exceptionally smooth, chill music for us to start with. Which is mildly risky, because we've all seen what happens when I get too relaxed on this stream. And I'm really working on that not happening. But we shall see, shan't we? That's two. Uh, one, one, two. Yeah, that has to go in each of these spaces. That's that. Lots of kind of just isolated bits in this. Although I guess they could be connected diagonally because we can't really see that. It's almost like working in very low res means you have interesting design design decisions. Ah, uh, what's that? Seven, eight, nine, ten out of twelve now. Oh, well that three's gotta be in there. Two's got to be there. So that can't be there. There we go. And other such noises. Seven out of eight, so we got that and that. 
Well, we could have got that from the four anyway. Uh, 40 was seven out of this eight, so. Copy them. That pushes that back. Only way that fits in. It's just that little, that little jazz hi hat drum beat. I'm very into it. Cue this being like the second day in a row where I've surprised someone by quite liking jazz. No. That was a large and unexpected flash. Wow. We found an escape plan. So what you're saying is this party boat has safety provisions, oh no. 99,000. It's the emergency escape plan for the anemone. Oh, then this evidence is of no use. We already know where the lifeboat is. We know where that lifeboat is, but this plan says there should be another one. Where did it go? To see, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's how boats. Which means the killer could have gotten away already. It seems sometimes the most important clues are more about what is missing than what can be found. Okay. So now let's talk to this guy who is, uh, Ray. Uh, who is Director Woman's brother. You all probably know this, especially if you're watching this on the VODs, but I'm saying it so I can remember what the hell is going on. Tread carefully, Honor. Don't forget, we can get you out of TV and into the big leagues. I think it was something like that. But if you and that decrepit detective try to slander my sister with false accusations, I'll see to it you never work in this town again. You're a little late, Ray. I'm not in that business anymore. Once again, Honor, this is not your job. You are not actually getting paid. You consider being a little less defensive. It'd be pretty easy to get the wrong impression about you. I've got every reason to be. The media will spin this as yet another air in Kino controversy. The discovery of that body will mean months of vicious articles in the press. A trial in the kangaroo court of public opinion. I suggest you think very hard before you make any allegations. I could bring a harassment case down on you so hard you wish it was you lying in that lifeboat. Wow. Have you considered being less defensive? Well, what if I was three times as defensive? This boat is really something. It must have cost a fortune. It didn't come easily. But now the same executives who laughed us out of their offices are begging to work with Erin. Hard work and visionary thinking freed her from the systems that suffocate Hollywood. The anemone represents that freedom. Oh god, they're libertarians, aren't they? Your sister introduced herself to me. Consider yourself lucky. Not many get the chance. Realise the two of you are close, but do you think there's any chance that she's involved in what happened to Laurie? That was the victim's name. Absolutely not. End of discussion. What, what do you know about Clyde Muscleman? As much as you. The agency sent him as a replacement for our regular captain. When we arrived this morning, he was already here. Have you seen him anywhere near the lifeboat where Laurie was found? He never left the bridge, as far as I know. Uh, what evidence do I even have? I have the fish. That was party invite. Uh, the film script for Sleeping with the Fishers. A cocktail served in a fake heart. Laurie's body. Uh, the bracelet. The shell casing, but it's not the shell case. Not from the shell that she got shot with. It's very old. A leafy security badge. And the anemone's emergency escape plan. Do you know anything about the shell casing? We found the shell casing near the body. Any thoughts? Sorry, I don't know the first thing about guns. Okay. 
Well, who else can we talk to? Where else can we go? To the bridge. Oh, and we can go back to the city, can we? No. To the bridge. So, wait. I dial in the radio frequency here and then what? Press the red button. What red button? Can't see a red button. On the left. You call that red? That's orange. When did technology get so damn complicated? Uh, well, I'll leave you two to that. And I found a door. And other such burblings. Okay, that's going to be at least a two. In fact, it's going to be exactly a two. I mentioned recently how much I love the music in this game because I love the music in this game. Uh, what's that? Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Which means it has to be there. Yeah, neat. <laughs> This is the only place that six can fit. And then this has to be for it. That takes out that side, pushes that. Could be the one or the two. I have a feeling it's the two, but no solid evidence. <coughs> What's that? Uh, 172 is 12 out of 14 now. Okay, one, one two, and then these five. Uh, here, the two's got to be there, and the four's got to be in there. It isn't, <laughs> it isn't a stream unless Emma praises the music or sound design. Look, I play a lot of games that sound really good, and I appreciate that. And it's not even like I specifically go out looking for games with good soundtracks or anything. It's just the kind of games that appeal to me tend to also be the kind that end up with good sound design. I think basically what I'm getting at is I have good taste. <laughs> First three's got to be in there, second three's got to be there. And this has to be the five. Come on. Uh, that's going to be the one, and then this has to be the three.
We found a clock? Yeah, pocket watch. Finally, I can actually recognize what a thing is. A pocket watch. Kind of old-fashioned. Yeah, but you know these rich people and their hipster technology. <laughs> and not very useful. It's broken. Ah, but broken at what time? That's going to be a clue. I know how my murder mysteries work. You're right, the glass is cracked and it isn't ticking. For a species with opposable thumbs, humans seem to drop things a lot. You have opposable thumbs! Look at your pincers! You have opposable digits! Jesus, Scout! We're not too far from where Laurie's body was found. Maybe it was hers? There's an engraving on the back of the watch. M. C. The owner's initials? That would rule out Laurie Becker. So this could belong to the killer. M. C. Whoever you are, you can't hide forever. Just jumping straight to drama. But then, you know. Hello, Clyde. You're incredibly menacing and thus probably innocent. How's it going, Captain? Fine. How are you getting on with Detective Cross? I'll be glad to get out of here. That well, huh? Where were you during the party? I didn't see you. I've been here all day. Is there anyone who can confirm that? Ask Dre. Okay, uh, do you have opinions on the missing lifeboat? The yacht's escape plan says there should be more than one lifeboat. What happened? How should I know? Well, you are the captain. Temporary captain. Were the lifeboats here when you came on board? I don't remember. Don't you do any safety checks before leaving port? Ray wasn't happy about leaving late, so I had to skip a few. They are libertarians. You skipped checking the lifeboats. It was either that or skip checking the hub for leaks. Wow. Have you seen this pocket watch? You recognize this? It's got the initials MC on it. And your initials are CM. Nope. Wow, just... Hold. Okay, whatever. I'll probably be back. Hey, detective. How's it going? I'm kind of busy with this radio, Miss Rahi. Do you need something? Need a hand with that transmitter? I may not have my own robot, but I think I can handle a simple radio. Just need to figure out why it won't transmit. I would suggest... I don't need your suggestions. Clyde's told me to push this and turn that about a hundred times already. I've tried everything. But the main power switch is set to off. There's a power switch. No. You must be glad Clyde's here to show you how to work the radio. Wow, doing those in order makes you sound even more like a bitch. Are you kidding? The guy's monosyllabic. It's like talking to a Dick and Jane book. Okay, uh, do you want some evidence? Uh, lifeboats? This escape plan shows two lifeboats, but there's only one on the deck, the one glory inside. So what happened to the other one? It seems they were released. Released? You mean the killer might have gone away already? I better get this radio working fast. Well, this case is going to be dead in the water. Pun intended? Uh, pocket watch? Pocket watch. Interesting. Any ideas who MC is? I'm working on it. Have you tried asking Ray? It's his boat, after all. Okay, we showed him the other ones before, so... Let's go and talk to Ray, because both of them have been like, hey, talk to Ray, so maybe I should take a hint. Hi, Ray. 
Uh, lifeboat question mark? This plant has the anemones equipped with two lifeboats, but I can only see one. Where's the other one? Damn it, it's gone. Those were top of the line. Quick release, silent operation. I have to report this. Where's that detective? He's busy. Didn't you notice the lifeboat was missing? Parties like these don't run themselves. I don't have time to check no one steals a lifeboat. Why would anyone do that? It's possible the murderer used it to escape. In that case, I hope you catch them. It will cost a fortune to replace. And pocket watch? We found this pocket watch. Any idea who MC is? That must belong to Mal. Who is Mal? Mal Cruz, the anemone's usual captain. But he's not here today. I don't know how his watch got on board. I think I'm finally starting to understand what happened here. I mean, I think at the minute we're meant to suspect Mal. Mal Cruz is the killer. This man I've never seen. The captain. But Ray said he called in sick today. He did, but only to give himself an alibi. Then he sneaked aboard, found Laurie on patrol, and shot her. There must have been a brief struggle. That could be when Laurie dropped her bracelet and Mal dropped his pocket watch. He was in too much of a hurry to notice. He just dumped her body in a lifeboat and pulled the emergency release lever. But the mechanism jammed. Right, there was no time to try and fix it. He couldn't risk getting discovered, so he jumped into the other lifeboat and fled. It seems Mal had the means and the opportunity. But what was his motive? That's what we need to find out. Good idea. Let's tell Detective Cross. Tell me what? <laughs> just... There's something very funny there about Scout just whipping around with that same face. You might be onto something, Ms. Rahi. We better do a little digging on this Mal Cruz guy. Starting with where he is. Foghorn sound. Looks like we're coming back into port now. That'll make things easier. Yeah, except now I've got to make sure nobody leaves the boat. How did you get on with the radio? Terrible. Barely got my message out to headquarters, and then the damn thing started beeping and squawking. It sounded like some kind of code. What kind of code? Binary? ASCII? No idea. By the time I found a pencil, the transmission was over. I told Clyde to keep listening. And let me know if it repeats. Shouldn't you be there too? It might be important. Spend another minute with Captain Cheerful. Nah, thanks. I'd rather get some air. Yeah, this boat is starting to feel kind of cramped. Hopefully we'll get a chance to stretch our legs a little now that we're docked again. What was that? Oh yeah, we're carrying a thing to, like, scan scout signals. Janus Diagnostic Ruger. They must have finished collecting data. Uh... Nothing. Probably just a seagull. For a professional actress, Honor is a terrible actress. A seagull. I have to get this data to Jenna. Cross needs me here. I should just tell him what's going on. He'll understand. Hi, detective. It's good to be back in the city. I'll take LA smog over sea air any day of the week. I... I need to talk to you about something. I know it's bad timing, but Jenna's data collector is finished. I've got to take it back to her. You're damn right it's bad timing. You interfere with my cases all summer. When I actually ask for your help, you want to drop everything and leave? It's not my fault she needs this data. I didn't plan on finding a body in a lifeboat. 
Damn those electric seagulls. Yeah, you know. Damn those electric seagulls, my favourite Philip K. Dick book. The trail will go cold. If Mao's the killer, he's already three steps ahead. But we're catching up. He's made mistakes and he's going to slip up again. I just need a little time to do this. Fine. Not to say I hate to admit it. Scout is good to have around on a crime scene. It'd be a shame to lose him. He'll have to stay here with you. If you need him to scan for more evidence, I... No offence. I'd rather keep him at arm's length until we know he's safe. Just try to act normal. He's still Scout and he needs our support. Now more than ever. Go give Jenna the data. I just hope she can help. You and me both. Location unlocked. Our house. But we have more things we can talk about. What are your thoughts on Mal Cruz? Your theory seems sound, and that makes him our top suspect. Of course, he hasn't had a chance to defend himself. Any ideas where he could be? Nothing yet. One thing's for sure, he's not here. Which means here is exactly where he is. I've read Murder Mysteries. What could that coded radio transmission have been about? No idea. Might have been nothing, but something tells me it's important. Can you trust Clyde to tell you if it repeats? He's no conversationalist, but he seems reliable. Based on what? Okay, well, have fun with that. I'm going home. And then we could go back to our apartment and just never leave. Come home to our scientist housewife we've apparently acquired. I see you've made yourself at home. I tried. You should really think about unpacking some of these boxes. I've been busy. You got the data? Let me see. By the way, I fixed your refrigerator. It wasn't broken! It was buzzing. I couldn't concentrate. Speaking of which, could you be quiet? I'm trying to look at this data. I mean, relatable. Is this neurodivergent representation? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I say that. Yes, and looking at her whole aesthetic and everybody I've ever known who looked like this, there's no way in hell she's cis. <laughs> Wait. No. What did those idiots do to my code? What kind of moron introduces errors into the error handling routines? Is that bad? Very bad. Didn't dump the expanded memory. I'm missing a big chunk of data. But you can still write the software patch, right? Can you act with no script? I mean, that is a thing people do. It's good improv. Yeah, it's good improv. <laughs> Me, I'll not say. <laughs> Oh great, I'll just improv a patch for millions of bytes of data. If I'm lucky, maybe Scout won't explode. I can't get the data remotely, I'll need physical access. I'll have to meet him in person. I thought you couldn't. You said it would affect the data. Do you want me to help Scout or not? Because I could just as easily shut him down and save myself a whole heap of work. That's not an option. And bring him here so I can get that data. He can't right now. We're in the middle of a murder case. Could have you could have another one on your hands if I don't patch a scout soon. You know what he's capable of. I'll do what I can. I'll be waiting. But can we question you any further? Didn't you say you've got a murder to investigate? I, I just have a few questions. Did you really design Scout? From the very first prototypes, 
I was lead software engineer at an SSI. They had a lab not too far from here. SSI? Smarter Systems Incorporated. They were a big deal, well funded, and working on some really cool projects. Really? I never heard of them. Not surprising. After what happened with the Scout Project, they spent a lot of money trying to cover things up. A lot of really promising work was axed. I lost my job, but some people lost more than that. <clears throat> Apologies. My throat is doing all kinds of interesting things lately. What was Scout's original purpose? He's always wanted to find out. I don't really want to talk about it right now. I'm still getting used to the idea that he wasn't destroyed. Let's just say that there was a difference of vision between me and the higher ups. Are there others like you? People who help build Scout? You thinking of starting a club? I just don't want any more surprises. SSI was a big company. I don't know where everyone went after it shut down, but the core scout team was me and Tom Schmidt. What happened to Tom? He's not around anymore. He is absolutely the person who scout killed. I can't remember if that's been textual yet, but it's been fairly heavily subtextual. Can you tell me any more about how this software patch of yours is going to work? I could, but you wouldn't understand. I mean, she's not wrong. Okay, back to boat. Deck of boat. Get robot back. Robot is sad, robot is happy. Honor, you're back. Detective Cross said you might have some interesting news for me. It'll have to wait until things calm down. I don't want you distracted while there's a murderer loose. Whatever you think is best, I trust you. Ah, the guilt. The guilt of it all. So, what's next? I need to know more about Mal Cruz. Something to reinforce the case against him. Let's search the ship again. He was the Anemone's captain. There must be more clues around. Let's do that. Aha! A different part of the bar. Always nice when they give you all of the groups in a row like that. these down, which link that. It's gotta be a two. That's gotta be at least a two, it could be a three. Cross said 1312, which is a different message to what this game is given. That's got to be the one. And then 1 3 is 5 out of these 6 gives us those. Uh, that can't go back there, we know that much. That can't finish there, so that has to be a 2. Then 2 3 fits in there, and the 2 is one side of that. Um, that's a three, that's a three, that's a one. Okay. 
Okay, what else have we got? Uh, that can't be in there. That can't go there, so that's definitely there. And this three's got to fit in there, so it can't go back to there. 44 is 12. Yes. Uh, three offset means we're definitely there, which then connects to that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. These both can't fit in there. That three's got to go in there. I need a one before that two. Uh, one, two can't fit in that, so we go there. We know we can't go there anyway. Uh, Uh, 322 is 9, so yeah, could be a 1 or a 2 there, okay. Uh, 6 out of this 7 gives us those, and then the 4 can't go back to that. So this is the 2, so that's too far away to be part of anything. We could have filled that in ages ago. Now we know that's the 2. All goes back to there, cuts out those, that pushes that there, cuts that. Uh, three's got to be in this five, which means that's a two. And the first two has to be in there. Pushes that. Locks that out. Four out of this seven means there. I am 100% just in saying numbers mode again, I apologise. I, I, I say I apologise as though I'm going to stop, and I think we all know that's never going to happen. Well, it'll happen when I finish this game. Which, you know, must be on the horizon now. We've already got our first obvious false lead, which is an important turning point of these cases. And indeed, most murder mysteries. I'm not dunking on this game's writing or anything there. This is just how classic murder mysteries work. And we found a... Oh, a GPS system. Points. Although the fact that we still haven't progressed past E-Tective uh, suggests this might be a long case. Any idea what this gadget is? The screen is showing some kind of map. Oh uh, yeah, she wouldn't know what that is in the 90s necessarily. It must be a GPS device. They're often used for navigation. So it might belong to Mal. Uh, what do all these numbers and lines mean? It's a map, Honor. A route has been plotted to the displayed coordinates near the island of Santa Catalina. Perfect place to escape after a murder. Is that like its official slogan from the tourist board? Santa Catalina, the perfect place to escape after a murder. This could be where Mal took the lifeboat. Welcome back. You get everything sorted? Not quite. I'll explain later. Anyway, uh, about this GPS. It's that GPS. How did you know? Not obsolete yet. I had to go to a seminar about these things. Looks like someone plotted a course re recently to Santa Catalina. That's not the route the yacht followed. I think this is where Mal took the lifeboat after he escaped. It's a solid lead. I'll notify the Coast Guard. They should be able to send someone out there. Good work. Okay, but I imagine there's still more evidence to find. Maybe not here, but what about Bridge? What about we just go and play Bridge instead? Looking shifty there? Where are you going? Nowhere. Just stretching my legs. We'll come to that in a minute. First, me and my robot have to stare very hard at some furniture. Or possibly the floor. We are open to floor. No, not them. Uh, 3, 8 is 12. 
And likewise, that can't be more than two. Uh, four won't fit in there. So the six has to be on this side out of this eight. So that's those four. Those can't connect because there's not space for a one, two after them. Is the four. Uh, that could be. This could be a one or a two, that could be a three or a one, so never mind. We'll get onto that one. Uh, these can't connect. And that pushes that. Uh, can't, that won't go that far, which means these split up. We know that that's the three, and this is the five. Very nice. These can't connect, so that's the two, and that's the rest of that column. That's a three, and then the seven goes at least to there. And lock everything beyond. That six won't fit in there. Uh, that to be a two and we know that means that's the start. So that's a three. Uh, this could be the three or the two but also that means it can't go there because if it did the two wouldn't have any space. And the four can't reach that far and that pushes that. It's that. Okay this can't be a two so it has to be a three. And then that's the one and that's the two. Nice. Two, very nice. Uh, neither the five nor the four can fit in there. Similarly. And that means we've got two five, which is eight out of these nine, so fill in those. Uh, the four has to just be in that four. Which finishes off a couple of problems. Love that. those. If that's more than one it has to be the four and then there's just space for the one, one after that. These can't connect. Uh, the two has to go in there because there's that and then we know this three is the end. Which is that two down there. What's that? That has to be a one. Three and ends that. We won't fit in there either, so it's that. Three fits in there. Well, five had to fit in there anyway. A two into that three gives us there, and then that means that's that three. These can't go further than that. Oh, that column's finished anyway. Pushes that back. And we found a bloodstain? A footprint! In blood, by what? by the looks of it, so, you know, they're both. Anna, I think you might want to look at this footprint. It looks like... Blood? Whose footprint is this? The tread indicates a person, likely male, with feet approximately size 10. It appears to be pointing away from those doors. I wonder what's in there. They're locked. Hmm, I wonder if Clyde will have the key. Hopefully. You'd like to think the captain is given the keys, even if they're just temporary captain for the day. Scan, 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 I need a puzzle. The 
console. Okay, uh, 116 is 10, yes. Uh, there, that only gives us that. I mean, that still blocks out that space, which is something, I guess. 14111, that seems like one of these that's bigger than it looks. Uh, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah. 2, 3, 4. That's going to be a 1, so we know that. Uh, 3 through 2 is 10, right? Yes, out of 14. No. 1 through 2, 2 is 11. Yes. Oh. Ooh, 2 on 4, 3, that's 13. Uh, yes, so at least that gives us that and those. Yes, and the fact that this pushes it off by one actually gives us the whole column. So there were only, there was only one square's worth of play. Okay, the three can't fit in there, handy. Uh, three, two, three can't all fit in there, so that last three has to be shunted out to that. Okay, there we go, progression. It felt like a really hard puzzle to start, but... Now it feels like it's begun to roll. And you know what they say. I really don't know what they say, I just... Clearly my brain was like, hey, you need something to end this thought with. Why not just say, and you know what they say? And maybe somebody will answer, and then you'll find out what they say. Chat, what do they say? Please tell me. Uh, and me. This can't be a 1, so it has to extend, so that gives us the 4, and then, yeah, the rest sells itself. Uh, that's your 2, that's your 3, kill the rest of the column. That could be a 3 or a 2. Uh, can't have anything more than 1 away from that. Now this does have to be the three, because there's not space for two threes before it. And then the two fits in after it. Uh, only space there. Nah, not that. We found a book. Ship's logbook, I assume. Yep. Captain's log. Earth date today. In Emily's logbook, there's an entry for every day written by Mal. 
Check out yesterday's log entry. Could not carry out safety checks last night, ordered to keep away from entrance to cargo hold by Ray. Understand and respect privacy concerns, but cannot raise the safety of ship. Will raise issue urgently tomorrow morning. Why would Ray want to stop Mal from going into the cargo hold? There's obviously more going on here than we first thought. Uh, Clyde, can you open anything else this door? And then I need to go and talk to your boss. How's it going, Captain? Can't wait to get off this heap. Any luck with that coded transmission? Has it repeated? No. Why do you want to leave so bad? We might need your help to solve this murder. It's nothing to do with me. Your eagerness to leave could be seen as suspicious. Think what you want. I was hired to pilot this boat and we're going nowhere. You might as well not be here. Uh, if I show you this footprint, will you get, into the, get us into this door? Found a bloody footprint by those doors. That's the cargo hold. Interesting. What size are your shoes, Captain? 10 or 11. But I haven't been in there. You decide. It's locked. I don't have the key. What do you think of this possible journey to Santa Catalina? Is this your GPS device? No. I prefer the old-fashioned way. An astrolabe? I go with my gut. Real classical Polynesian wayfinder is our Clyde. That doesn't seem like an efficient way of navigating. Hasn't let me down yet. Well, hooray for you, I guess. Uh, oh, I assumed Ray would be out here. Hey, Detective, what is plan? Mal Cruz is our primary suspect. We should find out as much as we can about him. What about the others? Keep my eye on Ray and Aaron. There's no major evidence against either of them so far. Well, would you like to see some evidence? As for Clyde, I'm still not sure what to make of him. He's not exactly talkative. Okay, but any luck tracking down Mal? Had the boys at the department look up his home address. They sent a squad car, but looks like nobody's in. That sinks is taking a sick day alibi. Still got a few places left to check. Wherever he is, he's keeping quiet. Okay, uh, logbook. Mal wrote an entry in the ship's log yesterday. It says Ray Kino ordered him to keep out of the cargo hold. You heard Ray earlier. Doesn't want people snooping around his boat. What's that got to do with the case? Wow. Just the times when the case requires it, you just become incredibly credulous. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, he's trying to hide something. Shouldn't that put Ray back on our list of suspects? Knowing him, it's probably something to do with his sister. Ray Kino is well known to the LAPD. He's represented his sister in over a dozen different cases and won every time. Oh, okay, not credulous, just scared. Got it. I agree, there's grounds for suspicion here, but you don't take the keynotes to court without a damn good reason. If there's a case against them, we can find it. Okay, the bloody footprint. There's a bloody footprint over by the bridge. Hmm. That might allow us to narrow down exactly where the attack happened. It seemed to be leading away from a locked door. Wow. My voice did not want to be scout for a second there. Oh, really? Guess we better start looking for a key. No. Get it. Come with me, scout. I've got a hunch. What's up, Honor? Seems like the net's closing in on Mal, but I still have unanswered questions. Like, why he killed Laurie? And what's inside the cargo hold? Right now, I can think of a few possibilities. 
There's a body in the cargo hold. Aaron killed someone as part of her twisted writing process. Mal find, found out he knew Ray always wins in court. He needed hard evidence and witnesses. So he decided to expose them in the middle of the party. He called in sick and sneaked on board, but he didn't realize Laurie had been hired as a guard. She surprised him outside the cargo hold and he shot her. He was just lucky no one heard. We know the rest. He panicked, dumped the body in a lifeboat and fled the scene. It fits almost perfectly with what we know. But we're missing one key piece of evidence. Is there really a body inside the cargo hold? And who is it? Uh, come on, we better tell Cross what this story you just made up with basically no evidence. Another body. This day just keeps getting better. Are all Hollywood parties this dangerous? Only the good ones. Oh yeah, she's French. In my head. Oh! Wow, is that the time already? Uh, right. Well, we will investigate this incongruously French lady uh, some more in about three minutes. I need to take an ad break for regular Twitch capitalism things. Uh, hang around. We'll be back after that. And, you know, in the meantime... Get up, stretch, get some water, have a snack, take your meds if you still need to. Uh, and I will see you all again in three. Love you. See you then. And I'm back. Hey, everyone. But yes, here's Aaron Kino, voted most likely to actually be a Danganronpa character. Let me see your cargo hold. A place of secret and shadows. What do you think you'll find there? I think you already know. How could I? Do you even know what you want to find? Enough games, there could be a body in there. Ah, so you want to find a body? Understandable, murder helps you justify your existence. What are you babbling about? If I wanted to be psychoanalyzed, I'd talk to a shrink. I don't think she's talking in code, I think she's just pretentious. Who has the key to the cargo hold? You are mistaken. Your friend thinks the cargo hold is the key. My syntax parser must be malfunctioning. It's not you, it's her. Oh, I didn't see that last bit. I think it was she wanted to give a straight answer. Aaron, don't tell them anything. They don't even know what they want to know. We want to know what's in your cargo hold. I object. First you take over the yacht, now you want to dig through our private property? On whose authority? Damn it, Kino, this is about murder. Pure conjecture. No allegation justifies such a gross overreach of power. I'll have your badge for this. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like there's been a lot of cross and my throat is feeling it. I better go after him. I'm in enough trouble with my captain as it is. But what about the body? Isn't there some law that lets you search the hold? I don't know. I've never seized a yacht before. This is fun, isn't it? Maybe Cross can't do anything, but we can. Yeah, exactly, Honor, because as I keep telling you, you're not actually a cop. We can try, but the door is still locked. Every lock has a key, Scout. We just need to find it. Let us poke around. Investigate. Invest in Elgato, hashtag not sponsored. Crimes committed in international waters don't count. Uh, yeah, but we very much weren't in international waters. We were not, we were not far out of the bay. Can't remember exactly where the international waters boundary is, but it's 
like several kilometers out of off from the coast. I mean, also not a lawyer, so don't necessarily take anything I say as read. I mean, not just on the legal side of things, you should probably just avoid taking my advice in general. Uh, well, 3, 6 is 10 out of 14 meters, you know that at least. Uh, then that can't be the 4, so that cuts there. Or, you, you know what I mean. And then the 3 has to fit in there. 4 cuts from there, then the 3 has to be in here. That is actually very helpful. Thanks, me. Compliment appreciated. And you can tell that's a bit because um, I have never accepted a compliment from anyone that easily and sincerely in my life. And I'm not about to start. Uh, the two won't fit in there. That pushes that back there. Uh, be a two. Closes that. And this has to be the four. Breaks those. That's the end of that column. This has to be the two, so it can't go down there. And that has to be a one anyway, so that's there. Four can't go that far, that closes that. This is all of them. That's not a two, that's not a two. Those have to link up, and that has to connect, and then that is a two. Three can't reach there, so get that. there and then have to connect with that, which cuts another one off there, and then the six can't fit in there, and that closes these three columns, which is nice, oh, and that one, and that one. Found balloons. Great. Hooray for us. I'm not a detective robot and I can see the balloons. They're there. They're balloons. Still only an e-detective. Balloons. Is this all that's holding this boat up? No, Scout. The yacht is floating just fine on its own. These are just for decoration. Decoration? For what purpose? Th there's not really a purpose. Sometimes you just want a place to look nice. And sometimes you put balloons on it. Hey. And you do this by hiding parts of it with bright colours. I guess that's one way of putting it. In that case, we should keep these balloons. You never know when we might need to hide something. Okay. Good talk, question mark. Uh, let's see if we can find anything on the bridge. Oh, we found a large man. Things are getting pretty intense out there. You must be glad you can stay out of the way up on the bridge. Yeah, lucky me. Okay, now apparently we can't look around. Uh, you got anything else to... No, we should talk to Ray, shouldn't we? We haven't had a chance to talk to Ray in ages. Hey, Ray. You're on thin ice, Honor. Do you even have a private investigator's license? No! What, 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 what do you mean, do I have a license? I'm just helping Detective Cross. There are severe penalties for unlicensed investigators. How does a year in jail sound to you? You should worry about your own problems, Ray. I hear the sentences for murder are much worse. <laughs> just, just ignore that. Yes, I don't have a license, but I've elected not to care. Jesus on her. <laughs> Why 
why won't you unlock the cargo hold? What are you trying to hide? Nothing, but you can't conduct a search without proper judicial oversight. If that makes you think I'm hiding something, that's your problem. Finally, we are ignoring that we are, have somebody who's fighting back against the whole nothing to hide, nothing to fear thing. Uh, unfortunately, he's clearly meant to be the bad guy here. Uh, about this footprint. What size are your shoes, Ray? About a size 10? I don't see what that has to do with anything. We found a bloody footprint right outside your cargo hold. So what? There must be a dozen people on this boat who wear that size. But not all of them have access to the cargo hold. Circumstantial at best, no jury would convict based on that evidence. No, but I think it gives us probable cause to search. Okay, no, we're just going to ignore this. According to the captain's log, you ordered Mal to keep away from the cargo hold yesterday. My sister and I value our privacy. We don't want an employee snooping around any more than we do a detective. Or maybe you're just hiding something in there. Based on what evidence? It's a fascinating claim, but it will never hold up in court. I do kind of love Ray's shirt on, ironically. Uh, did we show him the GPS before? You better put that back right now. We need it to navigate. But the anemone is docked. Maybe, but you can't just go around dismantling equipment. I mean, again, not wrong. I'm interested in the most recently plotted route. Do you recognize the destination? I'm a lawyer, not a cartographer. Okay. Okay. Well, all we found were balloons. Does, does, do, do, do we show him the balloons? Don't tell me you think those have anything to do with the murder. We, uh, have, have to consider every possibility. Okay, no. Uh, Cross, you got anything? How's it going? Bad. Ray's in full-on legal eagle mode. Can Ray really get you into trouble over all this? He's got friends in City Hall. Also, he's following the law. They can make life very uncomfortable for people who step on the wrong toes. But that's corruption. This is Los Angeles. What do you expect? I'm not saying we have to stop the investigation, I just need to tread lightly. You only get one shot of Ray Kino, and if you miss... And we're still looking for a way into the hold. Any ideas? You're determined to get on Ray's bad side, huh? Been on his bad side ever since we found Laurie's body. Might as well double down. Ah, truly, the most auspicious words in the English language, after which nothing bad has ever happened. Might as well double down. <laughs> Your dad would have said the same. Got guts, Mizrahi. I'll give you that. There must be somewhere around here who knows where the keys to the hold are kept. We tried asking Captain Muscleman. I thought I did. I wish I could help, but if Ray catches me trying to get into that cargo hold without a warrant, my career's over. Whereas for you, that's just, uh, breaking and entering. <laughs> Warrant agnostic. What do you want? This investigation has taken a few twists, but we're finally closing the net on the killer. I mean, the fact that we've only got an E rank suggests otherwise. Good for you. Has that radio signal repeated? No. Nothing but stud. We think there might be a second body in the cargo hold. And we need you to help us. The cargo hold is locked. We can't get in. I guess you're out of luck. But you're the captain. Can't you open the door for us? Not without a key. Don't you have a key to the cargo hold? Nope. Captain Cruz has it. And he could be halfway to Tijuana by now. Guess so. Damn it. How are we supposed to get inside with no key? I mean, it, as I said, it rhymes with raking and schmentering. 
All of my most important system functions have a hardware backup. Shouldn't that be the case here? Backup? Of course, there must be a spare key somewhere, right? As the owner of the vessel, Ray would be the logical choice. Does that seem correct, Captain? Mm-hmm. The only problem is Ray's the one trying to keep us out of there. He's not going to just hand us the key. So we're going to rob a guy as well. We will need a plan. Good talk, thank you. I know you have a spare key to the cargo hold, Ray. Just hand it over. You're in no position to demand anything. In fact, with all this stress, I think I've forgotten where it is. Y you're lying. Good luck proving that in court. Cross. Uh, t tell me how to do a police brutality. <laughs> Captain Musselman says there are two keys to the hold. Mal had one and God knows where he is. Ray has the other. In other words, we can't get our hands on either of them. Not necessarily. Ray won't give us his key, but that doesn't mean we can't take it. You want to steal the key? Why, you a pickpocket now? First of all, we don't even know if Ray has the key with him. He probably keeps them someplace safe. Second, it's not stealing, it's borrowing. Yeah, pretty sure it's stealing. Do you want to find out what's in that cargo hold or not? Guess if, we, if I can convince Ray we found a key somehow, he might give something away. Let me know if you want to try. Well, I've exhausted all my other leads. So let's try this very stupid thing. I think we're ready. Call Ray over and ask him about the keys. Here goes nothing. Hey, Ray! If I were you, I'd spend less time shouting and more time preparing a legal defence. You might want to listen to your own advice, Kino. I've just been inside your cargo hold and what I saw was very interesting. What? How? Your key. You really thought you could hide it forever? That's impossible. I think you bought it. If you did, it's probably gone to check on the real key. You better follow him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Busted. Was that your plan? Make me think you stole my keys and then send Honor to spy on me? That does sound like a good plan. But of course, there's no evidence. Yeah, we were just, uh... uh checking for leaks. I'm keeping detailed notes about all of this. You have a lot to answer for, Detective. At least we know we're on the right track. We just need some way of following him without being seen. It, seriously, is this what the balloons are going to be used for? What the hell are you carrying a bunch of balloons around for? This isn't a fair ground. Ray's too careful for me to follow him. But what if we disguise Scout? This idea? Awful. With balloons? That's about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's the same size. He can float. What more do you want? There has to be some other way. Logically, Detective Cross stands the best chance of disguising himself as a balloon. What? You're a wild screwy or something? I don't look anything like a balloon. Perhaps not. But you are full of hot air. Ah, the quips. Everyone's a comedian. You can't argue with his logic. But we don't need you to look like a balloon. You just need to hide behind them. Understood. I'll give it my best shot. How do I look? Buoyant. Do you think it will work as a disguise? Only one way to find out. Hooray! What now? 
Got a little surprise for you. Balloons? It would take a lot more than that to convince me to drop my case against you. Forget the balloons. What you need to concentrate on is this I've just seen inside your cargo hold. For real this time. Don't make me laugh, Detective. You know as well as I do that you don't have a key. I didn't before. But I'm a detective. I find things. You're bluffing. Believe what you want. It'll all be in my report. Come on, Ms. Rye, we're done here. That's impossible. He's all talk. Unless, maybe... Could they have... You were lying again. Is that so? I hope you have a good lawyer, Detective. You're going to need one. I don't know, just... <laughs> lying to people to freak them out. Very much not illegal. I hope that worked. There's no way he's going to fall for that routine again. I mean, realistically, he shouldn't have a second time. That's on him. He went to the other end of the boat and looked inside something. Must be where he's keeping the key to the hold. Let's go. Wait a second. Take those things off him, will you? He's a robot, not a balloon animal. Are you sure this was where Ray looked? I can't see a key. Yes, it was inside something. Over here. In this pig grass. Uh, 192 is 14, which is a lock already. That's handy. Uh, 7, 3, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's a lock. And that can't go past there, which locks that out. This is your 4. Fourteen, one offset, uh, just those seven. Uh, these are the eights, so they have to go at least there, because they've got a one before them, and that one's got a two before it goes there. This seven has to go at least up to there. Which then locks those and that. Uh, 171 is 11, yes, uh, which is how much we have. If I just stopped and counted things, it would have been a lot more obvious. But does that really sound like a thing I would do? The long-time stream viewers among you will know my attitude to planning. Three has to be in there. Uh, oh, there's only one place for these. That's yep. Likewise. Uh, let's push these on the back one. And then these have to link, and then that's just seven. Oh no, wait, no, because there's something after the nine. Read the puzzle, Nana. Appreciate the value of numbers. Which sounds like it should be a Laurie Anderson lyric. Appreciate the value of numbers. That was a very bad Laurie Anderson. 
but you know, it was aided by the most powerful tool uh, in any impression, which is saying who you're going to do immediately before you do it. Which you might recognise is a complete hacks move when it comes to doing impressions, and I never claim to be anything but. and other such noises. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, let's stretch this to there. I can't have anything more than one away from that, and then that breaks there. Means the three has to be in there. There we go. Uh, that's two. Nothing can fit in there, so the one's there, so that's a two, that finishes that three, that's a two, that's that seven, that's a two. The other two's got to fit in there, that has to be a two, not a one. Pushes that down there, there we go. Realise I do that a lot, say there we go as though we've cracked the whole thing wide open in, when we have in fact made a tiny amount of progress, but in this case we have in fact crack the thing wide open. That's a ventilated thing. Ventilation shaft, that's the word. Yay, finally we are a detective. Oh hey, it's one of those boat horn things. I think there's something inside. Oh, you were right, there's a key in here. We can finally see what's inside the cargo hold. What do you think we'll find? I don't know if I can look. Don't worry, Anna. I'll open the doors and scan the room first. I, are you sure? What if there really is another body in there? I... I have to learn to face my fears. And there can be no better reason than to help you. Duh. That was a lot of packing peanuts. Uh, right, uh, that's, that is 15. Always nice when you can just start by immediately getting an entire edge done, because you can plot everything from that. If, in fact, uh, you're a nerd who finds this kind of thing very pleasing. Uh, that tells us that. And luckily I am. I am exactly that nerd. And have always been. And I'm surprising nobody. Uh, 511 is 9. So that has to be all in this. And definitely with those. And then the first two ones are in there. That's a 2. And then that's this whole column. Yeah, it appears to be a lot of pallets of packing peanuts in there from what we've seen of the background. It's possible there's another asset that they just haven't put in yet, but... Uh, okay... No more that kind of jump out like that, so 7 out of this 10... Uh, this has to be a 3, this has to be a 6, this has to be a 4, this has to be a 3... That can't go back further than that, which closes that and gets those and that. Handy, 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 handy. That way. 
And in fact, it has to be the three. Uh, right, the four can only fit in there. All of those are ones, which I could love more of that. There you go, it has to be three. That's a three, and that blocks all of them. bits in, in this track in particular with that background that remind me of like Braid and um, uh, what's his name? The Super Meat Boy guy. Another one of his games with a name I'm not saying on stream because I'd like to try and keep this relatively family friendly. I don't know why I keep try and keep this family friendly because uh, Anybody who's met me in real life knows I'm really not. <laughs> but hey, you don't need nine hours a week of me swearing like a sailor. If you wanted that, you'd just come and be in my house. Oh, there is a body there. Oh, hey, it's Captain Cruz. Called it. Wait. Damn it. I think I forgot to actually say it out loud. I'd called this for a while now, but I don't think I actually said it. Damn it, now nobody believes me. <laughs> anyway, we found the captain. In the box. The captain is packing peanuts now. Oh, the captain may be alive, because we've given him a conversation sprite. There's somebody in here. This is Mal Cruz. Look at his uniform. Yes, it couldn't be any other captain. I mean, it's probably Mal Cruz, but at the same time. What the hell was he doing inside the cargo hold? Is he dead? There's a pulse. Looks like he took a beating, though. Ray has a lot to answer for. Mal, can you hear me? Oh, we've got to get him to a hospital. Once they get him patched up, we might finally get some answers. You sure he'll be okay strapped into the back seat of your car? What else am I supposed to do? Throw him in the trunk? He'll be fine. I still don't get why you won't let me come with you to the hospital. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Ray. This could be the case to finally bring him down and... I want all the evidence we can get. What if he tries to leave? You have literally no legal authority. Speaking of which... What the hell is going on? Did I just see you with a dead body? No, he's alive. No thanks to you. Honor, I've got to go. Remember what I said. You've got some explaining to do. Well, I've been questioning both of the Kinos. The Kini. Would you mind telling me what's going on? Where did Detective Cross go? Did you find the killer? Uh, question for you first. Care to explain what Captain Cruz was doing tied up in your cargo hold? What? I thought you said he was the killer, that he stole a lifeboat and took off. That was our old theory, yes. Now it turns out he was in the cargo of the old time. That is the new theory. What kind of amateur hour investigation is this? I mean, if you change your opinions according to facts discovered, that's like just the scientific method. I still haven't answered my question. What was he doing in there? I haven't the slightest idea. You actually... Expect us to believe that you don't know why your captain was beaten and locked in your yacht hold during your party. Isn't it obvious? Aaron and I are being framed. 
You think you're being framed? Do you have anything to back that up? The evidence is all around us. Perhaps if you did your job properly, you'd see. Or maybe you're just trying to wheel your way out of a conviction. Is there anyone you can think of who might want to see you arrested? I'm a lawyer. Making enemies comes with the job. Whoever it is, they're obviously a sick and twisted individual. If they exist at all. Can I present people with Captain Crows? I can. It's a good thing we got to Malentine. He could have died. Don't give me that look. I didn't know he was in there. Fine, I'm gonna go and badger your sister. Did I hear someone say there was another body? This is very interesting. Yes, we found Captain Cruz in the Anemone's cargo hold. Someone attacked him. Really? What were his injuries like? Was he in a great deal of pain? What's wrong with you? I want to make the most of this situation. How do I know you didn't cause this? Why would I? We well, talk a lot about how real life influences your movies. Maybe you attacked him to give you something to write about. Ha ha ha, you're funny. You really think I could do that? Uh, my strength isn't in my words, not my body. Besides, Ray doesn't like it when I get in trouble. Uh, here. If Mal was beaten and tied to a deck chair, he could have died. Fascinating. I wish I could have seen the injuries myself. First hand experience is so important to my writing. Great. Well, this has been a valuable conversation with both of you. I'm going to turn my back for a second. Nobody run away. Got it? Now that Mal's gone, we can take a better look inside the cargo hold. What if we find another body? I don't think I can handle three in one day. Right now, I can't promise anything. And we're just going to leave the thought there. I found a pallet. This pallet could bust the whole case wide open. Wait, no, eight is just the center one. What am I doing? Wow, these edges are all suck. Uh, 721, that's uh, 12. Three offset. This is those at least. And then that's a four. That's a two, that's a four. something at least I guess uh, 43 is 11 yeah so that doesn't work 141 uh, 6 9 10 11 12 13 one break one two three four okay and that's the four excellent Yes, that does work. And then there's one offset here, so that's the center. Uh, that being a three locks it there, that being a two is done. Five definitely can't fit in there, that pushes this four up. Uh, two, three, four can't all go in there, so the four has to be in here. Doing the little circles. When you finally resolve a line, it does tend to just kind of resolve all the other ones going round and then looping it on itself. It's a, it's a weirdly nice feeling pattern to it. Uh, 2121 two, is 9. Uh, 5 fits in there. That 5 fits in there, and then locks everything more than 2 from that, which is actually very handy. Uh, likewise, everything more than three from that can go, which pushes that all on one. That's going to be the three. And that's these both ones, pushes them, that pushes that. I need to remember which mouse 
key does what, despite the fact that it's really, really obvious. So, I mean, my read on this whole thing so far is smuggling. What do we reckon they're smuggling? <laughs> smuggling and or money laundering. I mean, they tend to go together. Is that a skull? That's a skull. You found skull! It's right. Ah! Ah! Skulls! Everywhere! Didn't you know, the spirits of the dead keep the ship afloat. It's actually bad luck to disturb them. There, ooh, there's a short story idea in that. There it... There, there, yeah, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a plot in that, Honor. Honor, put it back, put it back! Calm down, I'm just kidding. Oh. I am fairly certain that was not funny. Yeah. I'm with them. These skulls aren't real. Feels like they're made of clay or something. Maybe they're supposed to be party decorations? I preferred the balloons. It's weird, I think there's something inside. They're all full of dirt and... Diamonds? There you go, there's your smuggling! <laughs> you know how I like to make my diamonds inconspicuous? Is mix them with soil and then pack them into clay skulls. Fascinating. Maybe this is a smuggling operation. Honestly, Scout, some of us were there ages ago. These skulls must be worth thousands of dollars each, and there are hundreds of them. This explains why Ray didn't want anyone near the hold. Ooh, dramatic jazz. Cross we please. Looks like we finally got Ray Kino by the stones. Welcome back, Detective. How's Mal? He's gonna have one hell of a headache, but he'll live. Did he say who attacked him? Not yet. It'll be at least a few hours before he's awake. And then a few hours more before he gets tired of shouting Kaiser Serze because he thinks it's funny. That line wasn't actually... If you're not watching the screen, that line, not remotely in the game. So, all we can do is wait. Unless you know how to read minds. It's what I miss. You t you find the smoking gun while I was away. Well, no, but we did find over five hundred thousand dollars in diamonds. Very funny. Also, how do you know that, Honor? When did you learn to appraise gemstones? 
Wait, you're serious? This could be big enough to get see the Kinos get put away for a long time. Don't be so sure. In any case, it's got to be ironclad or it won't stand a chance in court. So we need all the evidence we can get. There has to be a way of proving the link between the Kinos and the Diamonds. i do it. I wish I could help, but Ray's still threatening to have me fired. Can't your captain back you up? I know he's mad at you, but this case could be huge. I wish it were that way. Don't worry about me. I know you and Scout can handle this. You're a good team. It's nice to finally have your support on a case. It's nice to have a partner I can trust again. She's not a cop! She... She is a random actress with a robot assistant that everybody is weirdly chill about. Anyway, I found this box. These can't link, you can't have a need more than a two because they have no space. Uh, those can, those can't, those can't, those can't. And that can't because there's no space for a three. There we go. Oh no, I've gone classical. Um, what tune even is that? It, it's not classical at all, is it? It's Zelda. I'm... Well, that says a lot about my brain. <laughs> Hmm, what is this thing? I think I've heard an orchestral version of it at some point, so it must be classical. No, it's from The Legend of Zelda. And I'll be real, I probably listen to a lot more video game soundtracks than I do actual classical music. In a twist which should surprise absolutely nobody who's ever interacted with me for a second. Nerd credit confirmed. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I have never been in the slightest insecure in my nerd cred. I, I, I've been here for years. Yes, hydrating and stretching are good things I should be doing. God, that is a ridiculously on-brand mistake for me to make. Who could this be? Is this Tchaikovsky? Is this Koji Kondo? It's difficult to tell. background makes my headphones, my cat is look gold and it's a look. I can kind of see it. When I turn my head to look at the stream preview, you can't really see them so much anymore, but I'll take your word for it. It's honestly, it's surprising because gold is not traditionally a colour I pull off particularly well. It's a complexion thing. Also, I think to an extent it's just a 
I tend to prefer light and silver. But yeah, I'll take it. I look I look good in many things on account of looking good. Yeah, skill issue, I guess. Uh, right, what else do we have? Ah, uh, that looks good. Uh, that's eight. Uh, no, that only gives us that. Yeah. Tons of space for that. Okay, that's got... Uh, yeah, that's got to be that two. Um, so, two, one, two is seven out of eight. Yeah, so that gives us those. Okay. And then that can't connect, so that has to be the one. Yes, we had all this information in the palm of our hands already. So that's nice. Yes, the wonders of chroma key on my headphones there. Given that functionally I use this, uh, I use the fact that my headphones and everything are chroma green uh, for two purposes, which are streaming and confusing everybody because I have a variety of custom backgrounds on my Zoom. In other extremely on-brand news, uh, I have, for every quiz team I'm on, I have a different custom virtual background that I use in Zoom that I d normally don't have my screen across, so you can't really tell. You just see it in, in my headphones as I move. I amuse myself, mostly. <laughs> uh, that's got to be the two, so there needs to be a one for it. Like, was this that three? Just the other day, added to that stock of virtual backgrounds with one for the uh, new London team I'm on. So now I have a, I think it's a uh, contemporary painting of the Great Fire of London happening as I move my head around. It's all very cinematic. Although one of my team teammates, naming no names, was very confused by how I managed to put that background across because clearly didn't get the concept of green screens. Anyway, here are some film reels. <laughs> Rambling about recent queers aside. This seems to be some form of analog data storage. Primitive, but effective. Dude, you're built out of a VCR. Like, it's basically the same. It's not just data scout, these are movies. Movies? What movies? Just quit jostling me, I'm trying to read the labels. Are they detective movies? Can we watch one? I don't recognize the titles. Fog over Gainsborough, The Elm of Scott's Wood. According to my knowledge database, they were written and directed by Aaron Kino. I mean, that makes sense. You, you're on a director's boat, you find some old film reels, they'll probably be by that director. Yeah, not surprising that she'd have copies of her films on her own boat. Maybe she was planning a screening? Okay, uh, let's go and poke around the bridge some more. Can we see anything? Oh, hello, Clyde. How's the radio, Captain? Pick up anything interesting? Not a peep. Also, side note, were there any other guests at this party? <laughs> I know that they're only going to have, uh, like, the time and staffing to make assets for so many characters. But at the same time, <laughs> it does seem weird that we've interacted with the captain, the hosts, and the guy we brought with us, and that's it. Presumably other people came to this, but they're just always elsewhere. <laughs> I could be wrong, but you seem upset. Eh, they're all busy off reading the script. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess they did kind of set that, set that up. Damn right. That signal's my only way out of here, but it's probably just a... That. 
Detective, get over here. The code's repeating. He missed it again. Damn it all. Now we've got to wait until it repeats again. Or if only we had a robot watching who presumably recorded it. No, we don't. I recorded it. Attempting to decode. Yeah, there we go. Scout recorded it. We can all stop freaking out. Uh, conveniently not at the scene of the crime. Sounds like everyone else at the party was the murderer. What do you think this is? The Orient Express? Uh, right. Uh, while Scout de attempts to decode that, I've just been notified that we should be taking our second break. Because, God, time keeps on moving. In the words of a great philosopher Steve Miller, time keeps on slipping. Slipping, slipping into the future. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm going to go away, probably like five minutes, uh, run some more ads, get some more water, because I'm running low on that, and God knows I need it with some of these voices. And once again, all of you, do these good things, get up, move around, have a snack, have a drink, take your meds if you need to, uh, uh I don't know, send somebody a cute text. You don't have to do that, I... Just like Honor, I'm not actually a cop. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and do those things. Uh, leave the ads running if you can, and I will be back in a few minutes to get back to this. We're not finishing this case today, God knows, but we'll make some progress. Love you all. I'll see you in a few. And I'm back. Didn't realise I'd hung up on a point with no music, and it was just deathly silence. Okay, yeah, Scouts... Have you, Scout, have you decoded it yet? Honestly, I gave you tons of time. It seems the code is too complex for my limited decryption algorithms. I will need additional hardware. You require additional pylons. <laughs> Gonna go now. You've got your code. You can't just go! This is a murder investigation! Am I a suspect? He's got a point. The diamonds, Mal, everything at the moment points towards Ray and Aaron. That's not how it works! He's still surely a suspect because there were like a handful of people on the boat when somebody was murdered. No, just me. We have found no evidence against Captain Musselman. All right, fine. But I need your contact details in case we need to talk to you. Call the agency. They've got my number. Hmm, that's extremely dodge. Uh, see, I wasn't suspicious of Clyde. Now I am. One last thing, Captain. Who let Scout watch Columbo? Don't leave town. Isn't that what we're supposed to say? Where's Captain Muscleman going? And shouldn't you be at the hospital? I just couldn't stay away. An omission of targeted harassment? Brave choice, detective. Stupid, but brave. Even if you're a genius lawyer, that seems like a stretch. Better get out of here. Before I do something I'll regret. Okay, hi Ray, don't mind me. I'm busy beeping. I found cushions! Sure evidence of foul play. What monster keeps cushions? Uh, that's 15. Uh, well, 7 can't go down that far. And then 7 3 is 11 out of 14. We need to put those for. Three. Yeah, well that's gonna be the first three. That's a three. These aren't a three, so the two go back right there. Nice. Mm 
Actually, this is already a lock, isn't it? As is this. As is this. Stop and look at the numbers, Emma. Although, to be fair, it's very on brand for how I usually do these things that the answer would be very obvious for a long while and just I was never clicking on it. Two one one two is nine. Oh, okay, that's yeah easier than I thought. And one two 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 will also be a lock here. Uh, this can't be a three, and there'd be no space for two. Clapperboard. Say that like it's a mass now, just a whole pile of clapperboard. Haven't seen one of these since the day we met. Ah, the memories. What do these chalk markings indicate? It says for a production called Radio, directed by Aaron Kino. Must be left over from one of her movies. Or, like, the upcoming one or something, because a lot of the time clapperboards have code names on. Scene 448, take 2EA. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, whoever wrote this must have made a mistake. Or it's a code. Perhaps not. 2EA is 746 in hexadecimal encoding. I think they had to do 746 takes of one scene. Perhaps Aaron is a perfectionist. Uh, let's see if we can get anything on the deck. No. Let's talk to Ray. What do you want now? Can you give any explanation for that radio signal? It sounded like noise to me. It was probably just interference. So far the only interference around here has been you. Very funny, you should have gotten into comedy. Perhaps then you wouldn't have been fired. Wow, just coming straight for us today. Game's up, Ray. We found the diamonds. What diamonds? In the cargo hold. The ship's carrying enough gems to bedazzle Union Station. It's the first I've heard of it. I can only assume Mal Cruz was conducting some kind of criminal enterprise. But he was attacked. He's the victim. I'm sure he'd like you to think so, but answer me this, why was he attacked? I propose that it's because he was working with criminals. Diamond smugglers aren't known for being good people. Any take on this clapperboard? Can you tell me anything about the project this clapperboard came from? Radio? Oh, I don't remember it. Oh, is this a key for the radio signal? Film reels? Do you recognise these reels of film? Yes, some of Erin's early movies. 
Somewhat crude now looking back, but still bold in vision and execution. If her new films are better, why keep these? You'd be surprised at the things you can learn from your past work if you look closely. Also, we shouldn't just delete the past as soon as there's something better. Where did all these fake skulls come from? How should I know? They were in your cargo hold. Mal must have put them in there, God only knows what he was up to. Okay, we'll be back. To the deck. Set to cross, got anything? How's the investigation going? What do you think about those diamonds? I think one of those skulls is worth more than I earned in a month. This has to be connected to Laurie's murder somehow. Could Ray really get you fired? He could do a lot worse than that. Him and Aaron have money, and that means they have a lot of influence at City Hall. Shouldn't laws be applied consistently, regardless of wealth? The dream. That's how it's supposed to work. But every man has his price and most people's are lower than they'd like to admit. What's your take on the radio signal, Detective? Whatever it is, it's important enough to be sent in code. My money's on it being something to do with these diamonds. But I thought Scout had some kind of hacking program written into that silicon of his. Can't he break the code? Sorry, Detective. My abilities are limited to wired communication protocols. Isn't there some kind of police gadget we can use? We do have something that might do the job back at the station. Never used it myself, but you can figure it out. I'll radio ahead to let them know we need it. Oh, neat. We can go back to the police shop. Back to the city map. To the cop shop. Cross said there should be some decoding equipment around here somewhere. Not, it hasn't told anybody to, you know, show it to us. No, we're just going to poke around the police station on our own. In our new role as honorary cop. It's what honor's short for. Honor. Rary Cop, Mizrahi. And if you'd like more where that came from, I'm here all week. And if you'd like no more where that came from, dude, same. Sometimes I too would like to stop saying words. Uh, what's that? Uh, 12. So, it just gives us those. Oh, everything in this column is ones. Good to know. Uh, 5122 is... 13. Of those at least. Most of us have been here two plus years. We're here for the long haul. I've been here for 31 years. I would still like me to shut up quite a lot of the time. Those. Uh, this is definitely the eight, so at the very least it has to go to there, which gives us all of them. Nice. That's a one, that's a one, that's a five. Sorted. Oh, 
that's got to be a one. But that doesn't help the huge amount. That's a one. That's a one. For that at least. Uh, three four two is eleven. At this thirteen is definitely at least that. And those. That's gotta be that. That's a two, and that's the one before it. Cool. That's gotta be a one at the very least. As is that actually. That's that sort of at least. Couldn't fit everything on here, so the four's gotta be up here, so that's one and then the six goes into eight. Those. And that's the one we used on that row. That's a one. That's a one. Ah, yes, and we've narrowed down the spaces for the ones between them and around them, so that has to be there. And then there's two in there and one there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, right, the four. Can't go in there because there'd be no space after it, so it has to be in here. So these have to be in there. There we go. Surprisingly tricky one to get to grips with. Okay, and now we know that those have to go there. That can't be more than two. Be a tape rail. It's going to be a two, so it can't go back there. That goes there. No. Okay, let's move on. So, there you go, that's those. Ah, that's going to be that last one, so he's going to go here. So the two has to go in here, and then that two goes in there. Sorted. It's the police decoder. Now we can finally understand them. No more will they bandy around words like civil forfeiture and we won't know what they're saying. You found it! Now we can finally decrypt that radio message. Not quite. We still need the decryption key. My analysis indicates we're looking for a key pair of two 12-bit integers. Like, for example, those two three-digit numbers on uh, the clapperboard. Two numbers. Can't you just guess? There are 16.7 million possible combinations. At a rate of 2 per second, it would take me approximately 197 days to guess the correct key pair. So we can't find out what this code says until next spring, so much for moving fast against the Kinos. Wait a second, what about the clapperboard? Scene 448, take 2 EA, 448 and 746, yes! That could be the key pair. I can attempt decoding immediately, although I will need access to the yacht radio to replay the recording. Uh, haven't you got a speaker? Of course, that's how you hear my voice. But decoding without the original hardware could introduce errors. Seems slightly contrived, but sure. It's really quite fascinating. You see, 
minor variance in the playback matrix could result in unanticipated I'm just going to pretend I understand and we'll head back to the anemone. That will also work. Boom, teleport. I've entered the decryption key into the police decoder, which I guess we just stole. No errors so far. Beginning playback. Compensating for ambient noise. Adjusting frequency thresholds. I have it. The decrypted message is E L M. Is is that it? I don't understand. Well, Elm was in one of the film reel titles. Elm, a tree of the genus Ulmus, often cultivated for its attractive foliage, but also known for its use in shipbuilding. Okay, but why would someone go to the trouble of encrypting the name of a tree? I think I know why someone transmitted Elm to the Anemone. I feel like we've done these things out of order, so we're just suddenly, as I get the relevant pieces of evidence, uh, just suddenly doing these massive leaps. It had to be something innocuous but distinctive, something the police would never understand, but that someone on this boat would recognise. It's the film! Elm refers to one of Aaron's films. I've got the answer right here on one of these reels. You're right. One of the movies we found is called The Elm of Scottswood. Could the signal be referring to that? It makes sense, doesn't it? And it all but confirms that the transmission was intended for the Kinos. Kind of. But we still don't know what it signifies. Is it a signal? Are we supposed to watch the movie? Maybe, but we're missing one thing. A projector. Oh, no, that was Scout saying that. A projector. I was going to say popcorn. I could scan the film with my camera, frame by frame, and look for anything out of the ordinary. In one of Aaron's films, she'd be here all week. I'll do my best. Initiating scan. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a hacking type thing. No, okay, apparently we're just in regular mode. I sounded disappointed that I enjoy regular mode. Uh, 12? Yes. Uh, means we have... Uh, 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 uh. That just means we have that number one. But that's fine, that gives us something. Not a lot, <laughs> but something, I guess. Uh, what verticals do we have that look promising? 32113 sounds good. That's 10, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, one, two, one is. That is just 15. have to know we have an imposter, Emma um, imposter, genuine disappointment at being presented with another puzzle. Look, occasionally, it, de it depends on the style and quality of the puzzles. Naming No Zero Escape, um, <laughs> I think back then you got to see me being disappointed at being presented with puzzles. Largely because the puzzles made not a single lick of sense. But yeah, disappointed at being pre presented with more pit cross, and then it's definitely a pod person. Uh, that's got to be the two, because there's no space for the four, so it can't have anything after it. And that means the four has to go somewhere in there.
disappointed or filled with rage, who can say? Yeah, to be fair, for, for most of... For most of Zero Escape, it was like that. Fun fact, I was listening to a YouTube video that was guess the video game theme music and at the end in impossible mode. I shot up right, startling my partner and yelled, God damn it, it's 999, this is all Emma's fault. You're welcome, question mark? Look, if there's one thing uh, decades of doing quiz have taught me, it's that uh, however you get the answer doesn't matter if they're right, so you're welcome. There, there, there are many pieces of deeply cursed knowledge that have come in handy in quizzes for me, so, you know, this is why we continue to experience the world, because you never know. <laughs> Three months will burn anything into your brain. Oh yes! <laughs> like, I can't pull any music from Zero Escape to, to mind just immediately, but at the same time, that's just because there's other music going on at the minute, and I know that if you actually played me any of it, I would have some kind of deep trauma flashback. go. We found a, a, a cell of the film. There you go. We, lo we looked at a film reel and we found a film cell. Truly, we are the greatest detectives the world has ever known. And now we are a sea detective. I found something. Look at this frame. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. No. Looks like Part of the credits? Someone circled one of the names. Art Janssen. Maybe this is just some kind of cinema direct. It is, it is cinema direct where they just directly do stuff to the film, right? I, I believe so. A new suspect? Maybe? Whoever they are, they're involved. We just need to find out how. Just say nothing or you'll end up in handcuffs again. Like the anemone, I too must return to the dark. Not if you do as I say. Why are you making this so difficult? Is there a problem, right? No, I'm just conferring with my client. I guess you two have a lot to talk about. There's quite a case building against you. I really hoped you would be different. I thought you, of all people, might rise above the li level of lies and scandal. It seems I was wrong. Why did you think that? We're just trying to get to the bottom of things here. If you're innocent, you don't patronise me. The innocent have nothing to fear is the rallying cry of the tyrant. Again, he's clearly being set up as the villain. But this is just true. I would say the whole heartbreaking the worst person you know just made a great point, but at the same time most of his points have been good. He's just been, you know, actually leveraging his rights, as, as should we all. We'll have our day in court, Ms. Rahi. Then we'll see who has nothing to be afraid of. Uh, I'm just going to poke around some more, okay? I'll be with you in a second. Oh, first I have to locate. The other console. Uh, 
13. Uh, what's that? Um, 12. Just give us those. Uh, that doesn't actually give us anything because that's still a 5 offset. Uh, we know we can't have anything past there. And then. 1, 3 would be 5 out of this 7, so I suppose that gives us that, which does also lock, lock out that, which means the 5 has to be somewhere in this 7. Okay, that. I guess that was useful. Thanks. Why am I being so passive aggressive to this uh, completely inanimate puzzle? Who can say? It's what I do. Uh, the two can't go there because it connects to the five, so it has to go there. And that locks out that entire column, which is great. Pushes that on. Can't go there, which pushes those down. Two won't fit in there. Uh, one, two, two is seven. Right? Yes. So the last two has to go in there. And then seven of these eight, uh, I mean, you have the one offset gives you those. Okay, uh, that's a five, that's a three. Jesus, it's cold in here. <laughs> Having to just stop periodically to warm my hands up. It's a combination of cold here and I don't have great circulation. <laughs> You do it fairly regularly, but don't do it now. Uh, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 out of 14 now gives us that, gives us that, and that. And okay, that one being there means that has to push these this way. That's still got to be a 1. That's going to be a one. Okay, yeah, and then the three one one has to go in there, and the two one still has one overlap, so it goes there. That has to be at least two. That pushes to five. This now is definitely part of the four because it's got. Yeah, either it connects, in which case it's part of the four, or it doesn't, in which case it's got three groups after it, which are all the ones. So that just means we can't go back further than that. Hmm. One, three, one is seven. Uh, so out of these, eight. Be the middle two. I, I, again, I'm just saying numbers, sorry. Um, no. I'm going to stop apologising for things that you... As you say, clearly all signed on for. And as I say, me actually explaining uh, my peer cross process in words that anybody else would understand would make this take so long. Uh, 
that. He has fit in there. And we found... Uh huh? I have no idea. Oh, Rolodex. Okay, yeah. That's why I don't know, because it is not in... Actually, it, this isn't 1993. Honor, this deck of playing cards is all stuck together. That's a Rolodex scout. They're business cards. And mostly for lawyers, by the looks of it. Let's belong to Ray. Ah, a database. There may be a file in here for Art Janssen. Hmm, I can't see that name under J or A. Perhaps they go by another name. We should try to find out. Like, for example, Clyde Musselman. Calling it now. Aaron! Hello again, Honor. You look different. What do you mean I look different? Someone who is lost is often difficult to find, even if they want to be found. Many are overwhelmed by fear and swept away. When they open their eyes, they find themselves alone, cut off from their past and lost to their friends. But sometimes the lost are able to find the inner strength to become a beacon in the dark. They take the place where they were at their most hopeless and turn it into a new arbor. I... I... I don't. You were lost, Honor, but now you have found your way. That makes you different. Okay, cool. Do you know anyone could write your answer? Hmm. No. Uh, well, they worked on your film. This film so comes from one of your movie and the name Art Janssen is circled. Who is he? I don't know. But he worked on your film! He's in the credits! Did he summon Noguchi ever meet, meet everyone who manufactured his furniture? Wow. Well, what about this Rolodex of your brothers? Is this your Rolodex? I prefer to let fate guide my hand. You must call the wrong number very often. Who are we to decide which numbers are wrong? Great. Very helpful. I'm gonna see if I can find your brother. Detective, we have a new lead. Or maybe we'll just talk to the detective. Well, you gonna tell me about this new lead or what? We managed to crack the code from the radio signal. It all leads to a frame from one of Aaron's films. Okay, let's see it. Does Art Janssen mean anything to you? I think I saw it in a furniture catalogue once. It's a person. They worked on one of Aaron Kino's films. That radio transmission pointed us right to their name. I just don't know why. Any ideas? I'd suggest you head down to the station and see if we have a file on them. If you're lucky, you'll get some answers. Will you radio ahead, like before? Even I can't get the LAPD to just hand over a file to civilians. You'll have to hack into the database. You guys have really interestingly mixed opinions as to what counts as crime. And you're okay with that? No. But you obviously are, so I might as well get used to it. Not how it works? Cool. We have successfully Stockholm Syndrome Detective Cross. Let's go and hack into the police database. Okay, the coast looks clear. We need to access the police database and search for information on heart. What if someone catches us? I'll just tell them we're uh, computer technicians. We're here to fix the parallel memory 
processes? That is not a real thing. Yo, they won't know that. Now come on, we're here to get that file, not take a computing class. I will be as quick as possible. For both our sakes. And because there'll be a timer, 55 seconds, that's not many seconds. Luckily, I am a wizard. Gaze upon my power and despair. See? Wizardry complete. I'm in. Scanning police records for Janssen. Art. One match found. The file is almost empty. No picture. No contact details. Just the name. I might not even be the right person. There is one other piece of data. A court record. Mr. Janssen filed a lawsuit three years ago against Erin Kino. Now we're talking. What was the claim? Theft of property. It seems the case was settled out of court, but most details have been removed from all records at the request of Erin's defense attorney. And we both know who that attorney was. Come on, I want to know what Erin has to say about this. My brain really wants to decide whether it's Erin or Aaron or Aaron. And I know those vowels sound extremely similar, but uh, terminal linguist brain. Ah, oh, no, she's in the bridge. Hello, incongruously French lady. You lied about knowing about Janssen. A. A. Ron. <laughs> Yes, A.A. Ronquino. That's, that is her name now. We found court records that say he filed a lawsuit against you. The mind is a difficult thing to grasp. Can you say for sure who and what you know? I mean, valid. I too have ADHD. There's no point lying to us anymore. No point? Then I'll be blunt. I had forgotten him. It was not my first day in court. I weather these storms the only way I know how. I rise above them. Violent waves do not disturb the flight of birds. Except you didn't rise above it. Ray just made the problem go away. And I'm sad it came to that. I liked crafts. He had such a strong distaste for life. I found it enviable. Crafts? You said you like crafts. What did you mean? A certain style. Monica's name. After all, what are labels between friends? What? Label. Style. Monica. Monica? Anna, I get it. Crafts is a nickname. Very good, maybe you'll solve this after all. Can you stop talking in riddles for one second? Oh, I get it. Arts and crafts. He was a talented props master. If he didn't exist, he could make it. That's a kind of magic, don't you think? I'm going to have one more look through that roll dex. But you said Art Janssen isn't in there. Maybe not under that name, but if I look under C... Ah! There is a card for crafts, and it has a telephone number. I hope it's still in use. Pissed off the props department? Bad move. Right? Phew, it's a kind of magic by Queen. Nah, do you think I have that kind of copyright clearance money? I'm not going up against Brian May. Hi, is that Art Janssen I'm calling about air and Kino? I... Don't hang up, I'm a detective and I need your help. Are you a detective though, Honor? Are you? Well, he took a little convincing, but once he heard I'm building a case against Aaron, he was happy to help. So, 
What did he say? After filming wrapped on the Elm of Scottswood, a bunch of props went missing. They blamed Art at first. It nearly ended his career. But then he caught Erin leaving the set with a box full of stuff. He couldn't believe it. She was just going to let him take the blame. That would explain the lawsuit. Props used in filming can fetch a high price on the black market. Except they were never sold. Ray paid Art to withdraw the case. And no one ever found out what Erin did with the missing props. Were the props a bunch of clay skulls? Which, by the way, included 200 clay skulls! Emma Genius. Clay skulls. Like the ones we found. Exactly. Which means we have a direct link between Air and Kino and those diamonds. Let's go tell Detective Cross. Let's do. Good news, we managed to contact Art Janssen. Remember those clay skulls? Erin stole them. Which means she almost certainly knew what they were being used for. Speaking of which, I just got off the radio with headquarters. They found the buyer for those diamonds. Continue. You said they found the buyer for the diamonds. Remember that GPS you found? You thought it might have been Mao's escape route. Yeah, I guess we were wrong about that. Well, I asked headquarters to check out those coordinates anyway. I found a boat waiting there. Coast Guard had to chase them halfway around Santa Catalina. They caught him eventually. Turns out the captain had a warrant out for their arrest. Let me guess. Smuggling? Exactly. But get this. They were the ones transmitting that coded radio signal. Not sure how much sense that makes. So they were trying to make contact with the anemone. Why? But why were they saying... A, why was their radio transmission a clue that led us to the film, that led us to the name, that gave us evidence against her? That makes no sense. I'm, I'm, I am confused. Maybe it'll make sense. I don't know. Seems like this whole damn boat party was just a cover-up for a diamond deal. Let's go find Erin. She can't talk her way out of this one. No, but her brother probably can. Time for a Poirot twist. Seems likely. Uh, one sec. Just clicking a button. And this time it's the right button because I'm actually looking at it. Hello, Honor. Have we arrived at the climax of your story? You're wearing an expression of certainty. And you're certainly about to be wearing a pair of handcuffs. If you have to put that much eff emphasis for them to see where your pun is, uh, it's, it's not a great pun. Have you cracked the case at last? I would very much like to hear your conclusion. You're smuggling diamonds using the clay skulls you stole from my ass. A fascinating theory, but I know nothing about diamonds. Who would I sell them to? Black market smugglers. Coast Guard found them right where the anemone's GPS indicated. You organized this old boat party just to have a reason to head out there. But there were many people at the party. Any one of them could have arranged to meet these smugglers. No, they were transmitting a code word that only you would recognize as important. Elm. Part of the title of one of your films, which we found a copy of right here on the boat. When we examined that film, we found Art Janssen's name circled the same Art Janssen who you stole the skulls from. It's all connected. Why? I literally do not see what the plan was here. How convenient! I've done very well, but there's still one more question on her. Why? Look around you, I have more money than I need. Why would I smuggle diamonds? Yeah, that's not a thing a rich person has ever actually believed. The thing with having a ludicrous amount of money is that you always seem to want more money. A cat can have a comfortable home and all the food it could ever want, but it'll still hunt birds. Basically what I just said, only more oblique. Exquisite. I was beginning to think we would never understand each other. 
have connected the dots you haven't connected. <laughs> yep, yep, basically. <laughs> I don't understand. The domestic cat does not need to kill, yet it does. It is simply in its nature. That made Scar sad. Aaron, don't say another word. Give it up, Ray. It's over. Give up? I haven't even started yet. Aaron... Oh no, that's... No, different voice. Aaron Kino, you're under arrest. Thank you, detective. This is false arrest. I'll have you hung out to dry for this. You're all taught, Kino. Just going away for good this time. I am a thousand frayed threads, finally bound, yet I feel a great release. No, I have a bunch of jokes there that I'm not going to share. You're going to be released, all right? I'm going to fight these charges and we're going to win, just like always. Cats don't know that they're over hunt hunting birds. Rich people absolutely know they don't need more diamonds. Yeah. And that's why cats are valid and billionaires aren't. Hot takes this Tuesday. Whatever you say. Come with me, Aaron. As Aaron Kino's legal representative, I demand to know the charges. I mean, I'm not a cop. Don't need to tell you a thing. Do you hear me? What happened to due process? Once again, he makes a lot of excellent points. Guess we're done here. Anybody on the deck? No. Back to the... T I guess we go to the cop shop. How's the prisoner? In a cell for now. Weird thing is, she almost seemed... happy. I know what you mean. It was almost like she wanted to get arrested. Perhaps she's doing research for her next script. It won't do her much good if Ray gets the charges dismissed. After she confessed, politely. But I guarantee you'll find a way to get the sentence reduced. She'll be out in a year or two. She didn't confess. She said a lot of cryptic nonsense. It almost makes me wonder if it was worth all that effort. This is what it's like to be a real detective, which you're not. Even when you win, sometimes you still lose. But don't be too hard on yourself. This will be the first time anyone's ever got a charge to actually stick to a Kino. Thanks, but we're not done yet. What about Laurie and Mal? We still don't know what happened to them. Agreed. Got a lot of loose ends to tie up. Gonna make a clip of that's why cats are valid and billionaires aren't, but Twitch keeps bugging out. Ah oh, no. I'll see I'll see if I can find it afterwards. Jeez, can you believe we originally went out of there for information on Frank Pritchell? Now that the diamond smuggling's sorted, we can get back to it. Oh yeah, that was what the informant was meant to be telling us about. Is Ray still around? I might try asking a few more questions. Rather you than me. But also rather future me than me, because it is just gone five o'clock, so that is our time for the day. We've made some good progress. I've remained conscious. Everything's coming up Honor and Scout. Uh, and we continue to not understand that we aren't a cop. But yes, we will continue this and possibly finish case four. This feels like it's a long one, because like I say, we're still like C detective rank. Uh, so yeah, we'll continue this on Saturday. Thursday. Today is Tuesday, Emma. Remember how days work. Uh, yeah. If you, uh, yeah. Bleh. Then Words. Walk, right? <laughs> Jesus, I forgot I had that sound alert set up. I was just like, what? Who's talking to me? 
Um, well, thank you for jump scaring me with my own soundboard. Um, yeah. So. Uh, and yes, Emily, sleep is good. I should probably be getting more of it, but here we are. Uh, completely lost my train of thought there. Thanks all for coming. Uh, except for some of you, you know who you are. Uh, no. I, I joke. Thank you all for being here. Thanks if you stayed to the end, means a lot. Uh, if you've been watching I Exist to Terrify and Amaze, that's my Tinder bio. Uh, if you've been watching this, you know where to find me. Uh, but just in case, this is twitch.tv slash sarasent. That's S-E-R-A-S-E-N-T, the House of Hubris. Broadcasting live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. GMT. That is 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Other time zones, very much available. Do the maths. Uh, and we will be continuing this until we finish it, which I would think would be, like, e either next time or Saturday. But we shall see. Uh, I'm, I'm still having fun, so as long as everybody is still good, we're still good. Yeah, if you want to know when I am around, then uh, easiest way is to give us a follow on Twitch. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Gets you notified whenever I'm here. If you do miss anything, VODs are on the Twitch for eight weeks after the fact. Uh, for everything else, you can go to the YouTube. Link is down there, or it is youtube.com slash at House of Hubris. Uh, if the link isn't down there, you're already there. Uh, and, yeah, that's got everything going back to the very start of the channel, which is over two years now, which is just uh, blows my entire mind. Yep, that train of thought went. Um... Yeah, so, and while you're there, uh, why not subscribe? Again, doesn't cost you anything, and means you get hot, fresh VODs in your subscription feed every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and this time, that is actually true, because uh, we were on hiatus, what with me being ill and everything else happening, uh, but I just edited a bunch of them. The first episode of Murder by Numbers should be going up, I think, in, like, three hours so yeah if you're subscribed you'll be on the ground when it lands does that metaphor work couldn't tell you uh if you want to support me mixing metaphors and forgetting what day it is then you can of course cheer or subscribe on twitch but you very much don't need to just uh turn up and hang out and be chill and be good to each other and then everyone's having a good time if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, uh, you can, uh, best, bleh, bleh, wow, words, best place to look is, sadly, still, on Twitter, uh, link is down there, or that is Twitter, slash, at House of Hubris, uh, I mean, the slash was not really necessary there, because the web address isn't just Twitter, um, but yeah, you know how Twitter operates, and you know how the handles operate, so combine the two. Uh, yeah, and I post about memes and shouting about politics quite a bit at the minute, because obvious reasons, vis-a-vis -vis this country going to hell, but hey, <laughs> this is, I, yeah, uh, I promise not to be shouting about that all of the time, but also I post memes and pictures and stream notifications and all the fun stuff you use Twitter for. Uh, don't think I have any other projects to announce at the minute, so I think that is it for today. Once again, thank you all for being here. Uh, love you all, and I will see you again on Thursday, which is the next stream. God, why do I think it's Thursday? It's been a long week already. Uh, yeah, but I will see you on actual Thursday rather than fake pseudo-Thursday when we will continue with Murder by Numbers, and I'm going to stop talking now and go away. Bye.